This is the Prime Pod. I'm Robert McLean. Today's interview is with Jakub Kodr, head of business development at CTP. We speak about CTP's approach to ESG, its rooftop solar strategy, and about construction prices, which have literally been going through the roof in recent months. How central to your business has ESG become? Obviously, as a listed company, uh, it's crucial for you to be seen as an ESG uh, compliant. But in addition, like how important is it to your clients? Well, uh, generally, ESG has been essential for, for us even before the IPO. CTP has been the pioneer in this field. Yeah, for instance, we were the first one started who started to uh, install LED lightings. Yeah, it was first one, our own initiative because we just wanted. Yeah, we wanted the building to be uh, as efficient as possible and to save on cost for our clients because we are looking at the whole picture, not just the rent and service fee. We are looking at total cost of occupancy, meaning we also care about how much money the clients will pay for the energy. Yeah. And generally the ESG, overall ESG is definitely very important. We care a lot and I think it's quite visible everywhere. So we are not just building building somewhere close to highway, we are building parks, yeah, with all the greenery, with everything around, with the solar panels, with uh, great materials, great isolation, building management systems, all of that. So it is in our blood, and of course we are listed company, so we we push hard to 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 be as sustainable as possible. Yeah. You mentioned uh, the solar panels. Let's talk about that for a moment. How is that being organized in your case? You have a lot of roof space. Uh, you had a big decision to make in terms of are you who's going to actually own the panels? Who's going to be the operating company in ter- in terms of delivering the uh, the electricity? How have you gone about that? And what was your decision yeah. process? So uh, the solar is again something which we started all the years ago. Yeah, we started 2010 with the first installments, and. Uh, and uh, now we are trying to speed it up even more. So currently in Czech, we have uh, six megawatts already from the 210. And uh, the plan for this year is to install another uh, 15 megawatts, next year 20. And in a short time, we like to be uh, 200 or 250 megawatts, which is huge if you, if you look at it. So we'll be a huge energy company. And the model is quite simple. Uh, we invest as a CTP, we own it. And uh, uh, the first aim is to sell it back to the grid. And of course, what we are looking into is a sort of PPA model or any other model whereby we can we can distribute it to the clients for their own benefit. Yeah. So we are looking at the multiple scenarios, but definitely we are uh, investing heavily into solars. And we keep on doing it because, as you know, just in Czech, we will be at the year end, we will be managing more than 4 million square meters, which is a lot of roofs, as you know, and big potential. So that's... And is it now being installed on all the new buildings that you do, uh, for one thing? And then the other question is, how difficult is it to retrofit the buildings? Uh, Well, yes, it's going to be all the new buildings, yes. Uh, to other question, we have uh, been kind of being prepared to do it already in the past, yeah. So we have in every contract actually that uh, the tenants needs to agree that in the future we might be installing the solar panels. Yeah, so we were, we were uh, preparing the statics and the roof and uh, so the preparation for the solar is there. Mm-hmm. Of course, sometimes you need to do some modification changing because also the technology be changed but we want to do it uh, f- at the most of the rules we have. And how important is the ESG uh, side of your business to your clients? Do they really demand it? Honestly, yes. And we are quite happy about it. And of course, the current uh, situation in the, in the world is, uh, is uh, accelerating this, all the Green Deal stuff, etc. So they are demanding the ESG. They are demanding us to build, let's say, the most sustainable buildings that can be done. So, uh, so at the moment, I was just yesterday at the site, 
at our city park Prague West, where we did build a property for company Reynos Logistics. And if everything goes well, I, th I think yes. So this is going to be the greenest building in Czech Republic as of now. Yeah, as of, as of July, August uh, 2022. Yeah, so we are, we are heading to nine, between 94 to 97 points of this BREAM certification out of the 100. And that was really driven by the client in terms of they were demanding that? Uh, Arenos is a great company. So yes, they, they, they wanted uh, sustainable property. But it was also driven by us because we just want to keep, keep uh, pushing ourselves to build better buildings. Yeah. I hear some people saying that construction material price inflation is calming down at last, but not everybody agrees. What's been your experience and how do, how do you deal with the issue of rapidly rising prices, especially of things like steel, uh, concrete uh, and, and, and glass, for example? Well, uh, uh, we use a lot of construction materials here. Yeah. This year we plan to build three, 350,000 just in Czech Republic. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, uh, the key is to have a long-term relationship with the suppliers, as we do have, because we are also the general contractor, yeah, which is quite rare. But thanks to the size of the company and the projects we have, we have 60 locations now in Czech. Yeah, it's quite a lot, Six business par 60 business parks through the Czech public. So we uh, are continually working with the suppliers. Yes, the price was quite high, it's still quite high. Uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, not good. Uh, but I honestly don't see huge fall down on, on, on the construction market, yes, yet because uh, yeah, steel is going down, but suppliers have still have a lot of work to do and a lot of, lot of contracts already signed there. Yeah. So I believe that if there will be some significant change, we will see it later on, Q4, maybe Q1 next year. But it's still an issue, in other words. It's still, it's still, still, still going up, you think? You still have to, it's, it's still yes. a concern for you? Yes, yeah, still the construction price is quite high in Czech Republic, yes.